Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, my smile is a little bigger than it normally is, which is saying a lot. With the Cape Town leg of the Formula E Roadshow getting underway tomorrow, South Africans are very pleased to find out a little bit earlier this week that there would be at least one driver flying that South African flag on home soil. And he has got a mountain to climb this weekend. 26-year-old Calvin van der Linde will drive for Abt Kupra alongside teammate Nico Muller from Switzerland in a truly global village that comes together. Buddy, I think I last saw you when you were about seven years old or something, still crazy fast in a go-kart or something like that. I told you you would make it, and you've made it. So please, everyone else, I tell yeah. that to you, believe me. Congratulations, Thank my friend. Thank you so friend. much. Yeah. On everything. Thanks. This is a crazy time for you, I know. So I want you to put it in perspective for us and all the diehard South African fans, because last minute you've been drafted into this team. I know you've got the skills, but this is new territory altogether. So first of all, yeah. how excited are you to be in this unbelievable machine on the streets of Cape Town in your country, my friend? Yeah, you've, you've said it all pretty much. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, to be honest with you, when I got the call, it's, it's only been three weeks where I got the call to say, you know, you have to come jump in and, and yeah, come perform. And then, obviously, the, the, let's say, the speculation of a home race came up. One of my favorite cities in the world, or my favorite city in the world, Cape Town. Love being here. I spend a lot of time in the off-season. So, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, I have to say. Um, but at the same time, just, you know, my goal is to come and enjoy this week, spend time with you guys, spend time with the local fans. and. Yeah, show them what we've got and, you know, give them a, a bit of a perspective of what I do overseas because you don't really get to see that hands-on every day, yeah. But that's what I'm most excited about. There is going to be a young South African driver watching you do this here in South yeah. Africa. I drove a bit of the course yesterday. It feels about this narrow as you come around the stadium, so good luck. Yeah. Is all it I'm is saying. Like good luck. Well. Not only the hopes of the country on your shoulders, but the, the craziest <laughs> course. Let's talk about the car. Because, in essence, while you might not have a huge amount, no driver has a huge amount of experience yeah. in electric, you've had to change kind of guises so many times. You've done 24 hours, you've done big, fast cars, yeah. big engines, small engines, you've built engines. Now it's ones and zeros. It's all electronics. Yeah. How much of a shift is this? Uh, mentally, it's, it, it's a big one because you, you shift. As you said, I have a mechanical background, and now I'm here dealing with engineers that have been studying for 15 years or longer with ones and zeros, they're typing on a laptop <laughs> and now I've got to, you know, kind of figure it out as I go. The mental capacity is huge because a lot of the race is more strategy based. It's not necessarily about going flat out. We have a certain amount of energy in the races. So you need to be very strategic. It's, it's, it's a lot of planning that goes on before we even start the race weekend. It's like me planning my day, bro. At, at 45 years old, I think I am now. That's how you plan. You've got to nail down. You've got to plan yeah. your, your, your energy assumption. I love that. What does it mean for a driver, though? Because so much of what you do is intuition. You feeling an engine because you know how it works. Yeah. As you said, from the base up, you've built these engines. How have you adapted to electric? And how fast are these cars? Well, it's amazing. It's hard to, to describe to, let's say, the, the general public if you haven't driven an uh, electric car. So, you know, a, a typical engine, it, you, need, you, build, you build up revs, you, you feel the energy or the power kicking in, whereas an electric car, it's instant. Um, <laughs> nowadays, I'm not, a, I'm not used to driving formula cars, so my head is obviously in the open, it's, you've got the wind noise, you don't have any engine sound, so it's a, a, it's a different strength. dynamic, yeah. So um, from that perspective, it's, it's a big switch for me. Um, but yeah, as I said, in three weeks, we've tried to make the most out of it. Yeah, no, completely. And it is an opportunity. I know that individually and for the team as well. So you are the tip of that spear for this weekend. And I know you're going to, like you've done every other time, rise to the occasion. Because <laughs> that's so what, you, what you do. What's the expectation? What do you want out of this weekend, my friend? I want to I wanna get on the plane on, on Sunday night and say, we've given it our all. We've made South Africa proud. And uh, hopefully we've got a couple of young guns for the future that are going to say, I want to be a racing driver one day. That's my goal. Dane Fern represents, yeah. okay? It's my old stomping grounds. I absolutely love this. I can imagine what this is going to mean for young drivers seeing a South African do this in the most spectacular setting. And it's our city. It's the mother city. E Pri is here, and Kelvin is going to do us proud. Oh, man, if you get a front row seat, make sure you scream his name, okay? Unbelievable, buddy. We are so proud of you. Thank you so Just much. Just be safe this weekend and enjoy yes. it. Thanks so much. Thanks, Come on!